So Jimmy has done it again. Mr. Beast strikes deal with Amazon for the biggest reality TV competition series ever. So what does it all mean? Is this good for creators? How could you compete to win? We got questions. Okay, so this is exciting, Mr. Beast, uh, YouTube, uh, the biggest name in the platform coming to Amazon and making sure that the deal was a very good deal. You know, I do a lot of my um, potential research on, on something like this, of course, through the Hollywood Reporter um, article. But not only that, you know, when Jimmy, Mr. Beast, uh, sits down with Colin and Samir and they're talking about the creator economy and why Amazon was the right place for this to work. It all does make sense. And the thing you have to think about is he wasn't going to do it, Jimmy. He was not going to do it if it didn't make sense because of the success he has created on his own and the massive audience and the way that they produce the thumbnails and the titles and it's very you know youtube ish but in the biggest possible way there was no way he was going to go with a streaming platform if it didn't make sense you know it's really interesting because a lot of content creators with huge followings have done things with streaming platforms uh and the streamers don't necessarily maybe get what the audience that's being brought from the creators is really going to add up to. And there's always just a little bit of a disconnect. So for Jimmy and Mr. Beast to do this, it had to be done right. Now this, according to The Hollywood Reporter, the most popular content creator on YouTube has struck a deal with Amazon MGM for his first streaming series after the studio wins in a bidding war. And again, the thing that got me the most was I wanted to watch, you know, Colin and Samir, they do that wonderful creator economy, um, entire channel that is devoted to that. And this, I believe, is Jimmy's third time, you know, sitting down for an interview with them. So you knew that you were going to get all the information. I encourage everyone to go watch that if you haven't already and really soak up the game <laughs> that, you know, was the intention behind what Mr. Beast Jimmy wants to do with this project. And like I said, with so many other creators kind of stepping into dealing with the streamers, but it not necessarily working, you know, I think there's a lot of pressure for this to work the right way. And if it does work the right way and it becomes as big as it's intended, based on what is said in The Hollywood Reporter, the biggest cash prize at that, it really opens up the door to how these big streaming platforms see content creators, YouTube and other digital platforms. Now, I think the biggest takeaway that I got when I was watching the Colin and Samir episode was that Jimmy's entire intention behind this thing was it has to be what he's already doing first. And if he's going to take it to Amazon in this case, it needs to be done with that full creative control and done in a way that nothing is compromised, which what else can you ask for? This is perfect and really quite exciting for the marketplace in general. Now, Mr. Beast, Jimmy Donaldson says, quote, my goal is to make the greatest show possible and prove YouTubers and creators can succeed on other platforms. He goes on to say, Amazon gave me creative control and I need to try and make it happen. I hope to make the YouTube community proud. You know, and his goal is to make the greatest show ever, which is completely understandable, all while maintaining the integrity of what he's already done successfully it has to work for everybody and creative control of course a big thing but there is going to be some elements that are going to feel so the same but maybe slightly different and how is it going to be done effectively honestly i feel like it is going to be done effectively but some little elements you do have to wonder will it be episode by episode by episode or will it be rolled out all in one you know on one day for the season and furthermore how will the fan base that mixes between Mr. Beast on YouTube mix with Amazon and them as a streaming platform. I think it's a really wonderful task and goal on all parties involved because I think there's a lot of enthusiasm here. Like I said, everyone on the streamer platform side, they're excited, but on the content creator side, they're equally excited. And it makes you wonder how these episodes will be done. You know, how similar are they going to look as to what we've already seen so successfully on YouTube. And what about cameos? You know, will we see cameos? I'm sure that we will. And one thing that I did take away from the Colin and Samir interview is that he, Jimmy, basically said, while well, creativity and the overall vision is the most important, um, and maintaining the integrity of what is already winning, uh, as I said, I think um, he made mention as well that yes, they will be bringing on a team that very much so is good at producing 
you know, for like a television landscape. Now, of course, I'm excited about this, but it's also like, how is it going to work? I think there's an enthusiasm factor for everybody involved, and we're all going to be watching just to see how it looks. And, you know, it is not to not be said, and it was said in that interview as well, that, you know, this opens the door potentially for so many other content creators. So there's just so much that is behind how well this does. And Mr. Beast has already set the bar and continues to do so. This is right in alignment with that. And I think it's going to be wonderful. It seems like the project will be released in the fall, but obviously there's a lot of moving parts. So I'm sure things will be changing by the minute, which is also part of the excitement. Now, another thing to be excited about is previously Netflix held the title for biggest prize money. And that will now be an Amazon Prime situation with Mr. Beast uh, show. You know, Jimmy has over 245 billion YouTube subscribers. And the question is how many will want to cross over and see the same great content, but in a different platform. It is really something that is unprecedented at the moment. So a couple questions do come to mind. How similar are some of the episodes that are already on YouTube? Would you want to be on the new series and, and what types of tweaks would you want to see? Or is it just the goal to be exactly the same, but just in a different space, be it Amazon? Now, like I said, this whole thing is exciting for so many different levels. You know, whatever it is, a lot of intrigue here. Now, for me, I wanted to do a little bit more research and just kind of understand the economy, the creator economy behind a lot of this stuff. So I've actually been checking out a lot of the interviews and the content that's created by Reed, which is the manager of Mr. Beast. Of course, Reed uh, of Night Media has has uh, other clients, but this is definitely the biggest thing. And what I tried to do was kind of comb through and check a bunch of his interviews out to kind of get just the overall vision. Because, you know, if you're into something like this and you want to see how it lands, it's kind of always cool to see what these people that are behind this project, what their ultimate vision is. So kind of doing the research in terms of what Jimmy is actually saying and what Reed's ultimate vision and plan is, kind of mixing that all together, it gives me a real excitement as to what I think at least I'm gonna see. And heck, maybe I'll be a contestant. I mean, I might even win all the money. There's lots of opportunity and lots of options, but either way, I don't know many people that wouldn't be excited about what this potentially could be. But then again, not my words, Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast said, you know, it, it also does have to work. You know what I mean? So this is kind of a little bit of a high pressure situation, which is so funny because he's definitely assembled his team so wonderfully that their thumbnails and the titles and the actual episodes themselves that are so intriguing uh, and so big budgeted, they're done so well. Now you're kind of taking all of that perfectionist <laughs> element that you've already created to something that you don't know nothing about. And that, again, I think is going to be worth the watch in itself. Now, obviously, things are going to be changing minute by minute because there is a lot of enthusiasm behind this. But if you wanted to hop over to Mr. Beast Casting on Instagram, you know, that is a place that some of the casting for the current um, already successful uh, episodes have been going on. And I'm sure more information you could find through there. As time goes on, I'm sure it's going to be a bigger deal, but it is still in the beginning stages. The announcement has been made. Everyone's enthused behind it. And I was like, let me at least do a quick little episode to just say what I feel and what are some of the ideas that I think will happen. So in the comments, let me know what you think. Is it going to be a success? Is it going to be the return on the investment <laughs> for Amazon? Um, or is this something that's new territory and you're kind of trepid as to what Jimmy Donaldson, Mr. Beast, and Reed <laughs> put together. I think they got it intact and I think a lot of people will be watching and it's exciting for the genre, if this is even a genre. It's more kind of, the rules are, <laughs> there's not a lot of rules, yet there is a television show on Amazon, a streaming show rather, that will be um, exciting to watch. So we shall see. Ronnie Jr.